Hey, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm very excited to have you here with me today to show you my morning manifesting meditations. I have three of them that I do in the morning, and all together they only take 15 minutes. I do them as part of my weight workout Monday through Friday mornings, and then I also do them on the weekends as well. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that help us look and feel our best, whether you're 30, 40, 50, or 60 like me, then I hope you'll subscribe. And if you could give this video a thumbs up if you like it, that would help the video, and I would really appreciate that. Now, I'm about to retire. In January, I will be retiring. And in preparation for retirement, I've really done a lot of thinking about my life. And I hope that if you're in the middle years, as I am, if I live to be 130, I'm in my middle years. But I hope you'll be kind of looking at your life to determine how it's working, if you feel good about things, if you want to make any changes, because getting into the second half, it is time to look at what we learned in the first half and make some changes if we need to, to make our second half even more fulfilling. And as part of that process of learning to know myself better, I have started a practice of meditation. And actually, once I get into retirement and I have more time, I plan to try to do it like 20 minutes at a sitting. I really think that meditation helps us get in touch with who we really are inside and that it is very helpful in helping to chart the course of our lives. If you'd like to see more about that in terms of future videos, then please link that in the comment section. Because in addition to the beauty thing, I'm also doing an inner beauty kind of a thing that I'm working on basically trying to know myself, to learn to love myself more, and to learn to how I can be of greater service to people around me, not to get real esoteric on you there. But I do believe that thoughts are things, that thoughts have a real energy. And in fact, scientists have proven this. They can see thought waves going out. And the question is, do they have an impact on the world and others around us? And I really think that they do. And I think that manifesting meditations where you're taking very, very positive thoughts, very positive pictures about how you want your life to look, I think that has real power. So anyway, I will stop gabbing here and let me show you my morning meditation routine. Okay, here I am out in the family room. And this is just like my meditation chair, the chair that I sit in all the time. However, it is actually over there on the other side of the fireplace. This one is facing the window, so the lighting is better because I have to use natural lighting here. Anyway, normally when I do my meditation, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning because I do like to do my one hour weight workout. And I also do my new face and also my facial yoga workout down in the basement when I do my weight workout. But I get up at 4.30 because I need about half an hour to get my meditations out of the way and drink my first cup of coffee, which is a wonderful point in my day. I absolutely love coffee. Okay, let me go ahead and show you what I do when I get up at 4.30. First, I go and set up my Keurig to get my coffee ready to be made, and I put in my collagen scoop in there. And then I come over here and I do a series of three meditations. And I started out doing them at five minutes a piece, and now I do the first two at 10 minutes a piece, and in part, I do exactly that amount of time because every other day I am doing the Eye Restore hair helmet. And that is one of the things that I think has really been helping my hair thicken up. I've been using this for almost a year now and you'd think it'd be crazy to have to do it every other day for 25 minutes, but I kind of look forward to it, especially because I combine it with my meditation. I am all about doing double duty here. So anyway, okay, let me show you the first meditation and to do that and darn, I don't have my cell phone because I'm actually shooting on it. And my husband is out of town, so I can't use his. But what I do is I basically use my cell phone timer. Everybody knows, you know, their cell phone timer. And I set the first meditation length for 10 minutes. And once in a while, I'll do five if I'm in a rush or I've gotten up past 4.30. Uh, but basically, I set my cell phone timer for 10 minutes. You can do five if you want, or you can start with three. It doesn't really matter. Just kind of get into a consistent practice. And this one is my manifesting meditation. And basically what it is, is I got this from Wayne Dyer and he calls it the ah meditation because you're going to use that word ah, not uh, not like om, but ah. He says it's like in, in the words God, it's ah, Allah, Krishna, that that is the sound of creation. And to use the ah meditation, that sound, when you are thinking about the things that you want to manifest in your life. And you can do this to manifest anything you want in your life. And what I do, and I learned this on another YouTube video, not Wayne Dyer, but basically I take my hands and I, and I cut them like this and I put them in my lap. You can't see it, but I put them in my lap 
with the idea that I am open to the universe, filling my hands and my body and my life with the things that I'm manifesting that I'm wanting in my life. And I do manifestations in several different areas from the very mundane to the big wishes. Part of my manifestation is that I'm basically thanking God that my company is doing very well and I have a certain financial goal on the company and I just kind of imagine that being fulfilled as I'm doing the awe meditation. And then I have some YouTube goals in terms of numbers of viewers and subscribers, you know, seeing my channel grow. That's something I've been really working on. So I will see that as coming to fruition. And I'll thank God for that. And then silly stuff like, thank you, God, that my hair is thick and luxurious and abundant and growing and filling in the bald spots. It's kind of negative, but I do do that. And I also even do silly stuff like I've been working kind of on improving my butt down in my weight room because my butt has always been like a flat pancake. I shouldn't say that, but it's just really terrible. So I'm trying to improve that and make it a little rounder. So anyway, just anything you want to manifest, if you want a relationship, if you want to manifest maybe getting along better with someone that, that you're, that's in your family or that's a friend of yours, it doesn't matter, nothing is too stupid. God wants us to ask for the things that we want. And it does not matter what religion you are or even if you're no religion at all. Manifesting meditation is just putting the energy out into the world, is creating what you want in advance. I almost think about it like, it's like if, if there's something you want and you see it in kind of clear form, like a clear outline, basically you're creating that outline for God and or the universe to fill it in, depending upon your belief. And I never push my religious beliefs on anyone. I happen to be Christian, but I do believe that everyone should have their own opinions on that. Okay, so let me show you the awe meditation. And basically what you do, again, cup your hands and you're just going to do the awe sound as you're thanking God or visualizing what it is you want coming into manifestation. So it's just like, ah, and like, for instance, in that meditation, one of the first ones I always do is seeing my number of YouTube subscribers going up or the number of views on my video getting to be more. The second meditation will be about my company and a certain financial goal we want to meet there. And so basically you just sit there and do these all meditations while you go through your list of the things that you want to manifest. And the important thing is to thank God that they've already happened or just to visualize them as having already happened. And so here's how it looks again. Ah, ah, and you just do that for either five or 10 minutes, depending upon what you've chosen. And I also do it for health too, because I'm still having some bowel issues. They are getting better though and I'm really wanting my bowels to heal. I'm taking probiotics and I'm doing some physical therapy exercises actually with a PT, it's very weird. I'm visualizing my health getting better in several different ways. So anyway, that is the first of the three meditations. That's the manifesting meditation. Now, the second meditation is basically just a meditation where you just follow your breath. You just sit there and follow your breath in and out. And basically here is how it looks. You just kind of sit up in the chair, try to sit up fairly straight, set your cell phone for 10 minutes or five if you're just getting started or even three. And then you're just going to breathe in and out. And as you're breathing in and out, you're going to feel where you feel the breath. Some people, they feel their belly mostly going in and out. Some people feel a little bit of coolness right under the nose, you know, that area. And wherever you feel your breath, you just concentrate on that. And every time a thought comes in, and your thoughts will come in because that's just the nature of being human, is that we're always thinking all these different thoughts, then you just kind of go, oh, there's a thought, observe it, and then just let it go. Don't freak out about it or don't think you failed at meditation because you'll probably never have a meditation session where you will be completely thoughtless. Well, what it has helped me do is something kind of weird. And that is that doing the breathing meditation, sometimes I end up feeling tingles in different parts of my body and everyone reacts a little differently to meditation. So I can't guarantee that's how you will feel, but especially in my root chakra area, which is where your sexual organs are, that's where I feel that little bit of a tingle a lot of the time. And it's interesting because the longer I've done meditation, and I've really just started this in earnest maybe six months ago, again, I've done it at different points in my life, but I'm really going to try in my second half to make it a very regular part of my life. 
But one thing I've noticed is that you know, I do the meditation in the morning, sometimes get some of those tingles in the root chakra area. And then at different points in my day, sometimes someone will say something to me or the phone will ring or something good will be happening. Like for instance, they asked me to be on this little TV show, which I can't tell you about. And it's not as big a deal as I make it sound, but you know, I got asked by this producer to be on this TV show, which I will share with you when I'm allowed to. I can't share anything with you until it airs. But it was funny because I've been meditating very regularly for three or four months. And then for a two day period, I just got these tingles all through my body, like all day long. And I thought, oh my gosh, if this is what meditation does, I really want it. And I didn't know it at the time, but the next day I went to my email. I had that for like a day and a half until I saw my email. And then all of a sudden I realized that this executive producer had emailed me about a day and a half before, about the whole time I'd been tingling. And I thought, oh my gosh, this meditation just opens you up to some sort of a universal flow so that God and or the universe can better communicate with you. And again, I say the universe too, because I do not want to push my religious beliefs, my Christian beliefs on others. But anyway, I just think meditation, not only does it help you relax, it helps you not be so reactive to things, to not get in those little tiffs with others around you. And I think it also helps put you in the universal flow of things. So again, how you do the second meditation is you just sit here and you set your cell phone timer and you just breathe in and out for either five or 10 minutes. Oh my, that feels so good. But anyway, that one, as you can tell, it's not too dramatic looking, but it does feel good. It really does. And I think it does produce good results. Okay, the third meditation is my self-love meditation. And basically how you do this one is again, set your cell phone timer for five or 10 minutes. And then you're going to take a little mirror and you're going to talk to yourself. You're going to tell yourself how great you are. You're going to fall in love with yourself. And it really does help bring about self-love and just feelings of confidence and optimism. And I feel like an idiot doing this in front of you, but I'll do it. Hi, Beth. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. I'm perfect just the way I am in all my imperfections. The whole thing is not to be perfect. It's just to suit up and show up and be the most authentic, real you you can be. Beth, as you go through your day, just realize that God loves you and just feel that love and also just kind of settle down and calm down and if you ever have a situation at work that things get to be a little heated, just kind of slow down before you react and try not to react because we know there's some people at work you're having difficulties with lately. And the best thing in that circumstance is not to try to win. The best thing is just to kind of turn around and remove yourself from the situation because Beth, you no longer need that animosity and anger in your life. You just need to be calm and peaceful and thank you, God, for the beautiful life that I have. I'm so grateful for everything. And as I go through my day, just help me be more and more grateful for all of the wonderful blessings in my life. And also please bless everyone in my life and help them also have a great day too. So anyway, that's just an example of how I do the self-love meditation. And that was originally from Louise Hay. That idea was from Louise Hay. So anyway, normally I leave you with a little thought for the day, but I think I've left you with a lot of thoughts for the day in this video. It's a little woo woo, but I really do love this aspect of what I'm doing lately because it's not all about how you look on the outside. It's also how you feel on the inside. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.